Hey, what's going on, guys? Your boy Two Shot here from Two Shot Gaming, and today we're doing Torch Bow and Smart Torch. They're really cool mods. We're gonna go them step by step, and just for a little bonus, we're gonna show you how to put additional mods in the forge. I might do a separate video on this, but we're gonna throw a raised mini map in there just to let you guys see that you can get more than one mod work. Just as a bonus, it won't take too long. I already got raised raised mini map downloaded, so don't worry about it. We'll just throw that in as we go. Okay, uh, first thing we're going to do is look at the forum pages. As we look at the forum pages, in the description there will be a playlist. I did about 10, 11, 12 mods so far, or more and more every day. Um, guys, click on that, so if there's any mods you're looking for, they'll be done. As soon as they come out, I'm trying to do them. Okay, so this one I found, I I heard of people mention this before, but I didn't really know about this. The Smart Torches and Bows mod, it's really cool. I basically, you can make a bow. You can shoot animals, cook food, shoot mobs, set them on fire, and you can shoot um, torches all over the place to light places up for you. And it's pretty easy to make everything, just throw a torch into there. And to make the bow, just a couple of strings cold, and um, a stick. Not not really that hard, it's a really cool mod. You come down here, download both of them. If you download this one, it takes you to Adfly if you're having a hard time with it. The reason why you're having a hard time with it is because you have air blocker on. You have to take air blocker off. And of course, make sure that you support the mod makers and use Airfly. If they make these mods for us, it's nice enough that we can do is support them back. All right. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to go to Forge next. This is the home of Forge. Go to Releases. Usually, so you guys know, when you go to Releases, usually it's right here. Right now, the latest release is not out because they're all in beta because everybody's trying to figure out what's going on. There's a lot of different things, a lot of different changes going on. And I'm learning them here. It's not too bad. It just takes a little while to figure each one out. So um, instead of going here, which it usually will be, this just tells you about the launcher. That's not it. Go to Files right there. And then it'll bring up all the latest releases. Forge works slow because a lot of people have downloaded. So you got to take your time. And sometimes the site is down, but just try later. This is the latest Forge right now. You want to download the installer. That's the easiest thing to do right now is to download the installer. And then we'll take it from there. Download that. If it was the Airfly, skip ad, all that stuff. Download it to your desktop. And then you'll have a little jar file. You can right click on a Java file, do open, and it'll open right up in Java. If not, if that doesn't work when you do that, you have to pick the program. Just um, when you hit open, it'll have another little window up. It says search the web or search your files. Search your files and open it up with Java. Okay, so um, when you're here, install client. And all you gotta do is hit OK. That's how pretty quick that it happens. That ha that quick. So um, we got the torch bow and everything here, and we got raised mini map throwing for fun. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is go down to the start menu, do percent app data percent. Go to your Roman. Go to your dot Minecraft, and come down to versions. Open up the versions. Now. I have this new folder in here. Okay, yeah, I have this new folder in here. Uh, let's just delete this. I was just, I was about to do something and I didn't do it. Okay, so we got Forge. This is the Forge that downloaded from the installer, right? We're going to make a brand new folder. If you guys already know this, you can skip this part. Make a brand new folder. Call it um, 1.6.1. Forge, Forge, Forge. Okay, you see how that's spelled? That's the one we're going to be using. So make sure everything's spelled like that. So we're going to go into Forge here, so it's a little easier for you to recognize what it is. Go into Forge. These are the Forge jars and adjacent file. You want to right-click on it and copy it. Then you want to go back. Go into the folder we just made, the 1.6.1 Forge. You want to paste both of those in there. Highlight on that one. Erase it and put in what do we call that thing? Oh, <laughs> 1.6.1 Forge, right? So that's like our Forge folder. So then what kind of know? You can name whatever you want, but all those names have to be the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> I'm doing way too many mods. Lately. <laughs> so make sure you all look like that. Forge, Forge, Forge. You want to come to the JSON file. Right click on it, highlight it, right click on it, and then you want to open up and um, edit with Notepad++. 
Or you can go open with if you want, open it up with Notepad itself. But you'll have a list of programs here. You just scroll through them all and you get Notepad, Notepad++. We'll just open it up in Notepad for now. Take it where it says ID in the forge. You want to take it and put 1.6.1 and then you want to type in forge. So that makes it like just like how we had it here. See the IDs right here and then there's little um, parentheses, quotation marks, whatever. Quotations and um, you put 1.6 forge. All in one word, no spaces, no nothing. Don't leave any spaces or anything like that because then it won't work. And do save and that goes for everything. Everything has to be named exactly the same. You could um, underscores or something if you want, but you can't leave any spaces. So leave everything like this. You saved all these. You're looking pretty decent, right? Not too bad so far. That we're gonna do. We're gonna leave this open, and we're gonna run on Minecraft. All right. When we run on Minecraft, we we have to make a profile for this because I have no profiles. You can just just keep switching your jar and go to different 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 Minecrafts if you want. It's up to you. But we're gonna make um shop pack maybe we'll call it right shop pack one. And you want to go here. And then you want to go down to 1.6.1 Forge. That's the one we just made. Save profile. Then you want to, you want to, oh, you want to log out. Right? So you're out. Go to that profile we just made. Then go to your username. Type it in. Go to your password. Type it in. Hit play. It's funny, like you'd log in, they call it play now. And just let everything load up nice and easy. And do, 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 do. give it a few seconds, and it'll show that we have Forge. I always like to load Forge in because sometimes if other mods don't work with other mods, I guess a little messed up. But you got Forge here. You got your three Forge mods like you used to have in the old Minecraft. So you want to get out of here, log out, get off of here. So we're all out of there completely. That's a navigation folder. Don't worry about that. That disappears. So we're here in a one point. Uh, 1.6.1 forge jar, right? So we're gonna go back out of here, go back one, right? That's our versions folder now. That's what's inside our version folder. Go back out again. You got a mods folder here. This mods folder, open up. This is in our dot Minecraft, right? We're gonna open up our mods folder. We're gonna put torch bow and smart smart torch. Those are the two mods you need for this mod. And we throw a raised mini map in there. Most of the time, you can put raised mini map right into the jar, and it works fine. This setup with Forge, you can't do that. So I'm showing you how to put Raise Mini Map on top of this mod just for the hell of it, just so you understand what's going on. Because if you try to do it a different way, it's not going to work. All right. So then we got those loaded in. It's good. Let's start up Minecraft. Then we'll run Minecraft now. And then we got our. Make sure you have your shot pack in, and you have your release of 1.6.1 Forge in your profile. Just type in. Your password, because your username will be saved. And then this will start to launch up. Launch, launch up. Yeah, I guess that's right. It's going to take the Torch mods, put those in there. And it's going to take Raise Mini Map, put that in there. And if, like, you modded your jar already, just so you guys know, if you already modded your jar, and you try to put Forge in, it's not going to work. You have to do it like this for right now, until mod makers make a different change. So now we have six mods in here. We have Raise Mini Map in here. Mod load and coder pack. I tried to work with too many items. I read the forums. Too many items will not work with Forge yet. They said not yet. So I'm hoping the next update it will. So let's go single player. Let's create world. Let's make um, a creative world just so it's a little bit easier for us. So we don't have to show too much off. And give it a few seconds to start up. And then we got that there let's make this a little bigger we're gonna need i think everything we can get right from here some cold some woods some string some torches and where is the crafting table let's just i guess we'll just go down here and we'll get ourselves a crafting table and they got raised mini map in the right hand corner if you see guys that worked out fine for us. And that was a brand new install, so you guys can see right from the beginning to the end. This is our torch bow. And you just gotta put regular torches in the crafting table. And you get smart torches. 
So you go like this, and you set that bitch on fire. You want to light up over there, say? Lights up. Melt some, melt some snow for you at the time. So, guys, thanks so much. I hope this answers some questions with Forge. And plus, you get to see a really cool mod. That's, it's been out for a while. I never did a tutorial on it. So, I thought it would be pretty cool to show you guys another mod. Because they're coming in slow, but they're all coming in. Alright, guys. So, until next time. Peace.